It's time to work on this big Chinese owl. I repotted it in spring into a more appropriately sized container and it has now recovered. With all the growth that has exploded out, I really need to clean up so that I can see what's going on with the structure. I work my way from bottom to top, removing any dead, weak interior branches or crotch growth. Take the threes down to twos. Do I have a reason to remove it? Are there any better options? That's the thought process I'm using. It's time to think about secondary branches, plus any adjustments to those primary lines. This secondary branch is a little awkward. I don't make a concave or even a flush cut here. This tree has shown a propensity to die back. The cut paste contains a hormone that encourages cell division and therefore callus growth to help close the wound. This branch is causing some inverse swelling on the inside of the bend. No, wait, not that branch. Okay, that was not my intention. Anyway, you didn't see that. I no longer need these lower branches to be as tall as they are, so I'll reduce the height of those. In the apical region, there's this stub that I left behind when I reduced the height of the tree. I left a good stub to reduce the risk of dieback. I'll cut that chunk of dead wood out, then clean up with the sharp knife, expose a nice clean cut layer of cambium and pop some paste on. And I'll connect to the existing wound. Although this tree does show a willingness to die back, it also produces callus tissue pretty well. So the majority of the pruning work is done now. The tree's actually looking pretty darn good. But I think we can do better than this. There's no negative space separating the second branch from the trunk until it gets quite far up. And also the branch then appears to emerge from the trunk at the same height as the third branch, which kind of halts the flow. So I'm going to bend it. And if it works, great. If not, then I'll remove it. The tricky part seems to be locating the anchor for the guy wire. I hate securing to the pot. Had a bad experience in the past. Applying leverage to the trunk but securing to the pot puts pressure on the root mass, which is not good. But this time, I really have no choice. I attach the guy wire to the rebar. Next, I cut a small wedge perpendicular to the angle of the desired bend. If the wedge angle is too large, the tissue on the bend will be stretched too far. If the wedge goes too far past 50% through the branch, it may be excessively weakened. Finally, if the cut is not triangle shaped, there is a risk of a gap existing. So it needs to be just right. The risks are high. Having taken the wedge cut, I tighten the guy wire to initiate the bend in the branch. I need to adjust the cut with the saw to allow more bend as I progress. If I cut too far though, the ability for the branch to stay hydrated is jeopardized. I could remove that branch completely, but it's occupying some negative space and it's also contributing some depth to the design. Now the idea isn't that the vascular tissue will heal over the wedge, it's that the tissue around the wedge thickens and holds it in position. It might be that if I allow the branch to thicken a lot, it will eventually grow around the cut. But the principle of this technique isn't that we're taking a chunk out and then grafting it back together, if you see what I mean. Eventually, I close the gap and there is a little tearing on the live side, but I'm happy it's going to be okay. Fingers crossed. The camera angle wasn't great, sorry about that, but I really had to focus on what I was doing. I'm really happy with the difference it's made though. It's given the design more depth and fixed that visual issue with the branch interacting with the trunk. It flows much better now. I'll get some wire on the rest of the branches and get them positioned nicely.
common knowledge suggests to avoid crossing the trunk, but with this secondary branch, I'll use it to disguise the appearance of inverse taper created by the interaction between the dead and live wood about two thirds of the way up the trunk. Aside from anything else, hiding some of the trunk adds a little bit of mystique if you ask me. You know, curiosity or it increases the urge to look closer and investigate further rather than giving everything the tree's got away right up front. In the apex, I'll remove what I don't need, wire primaries into position and tweak any secondary branches. With the structure laid out, now we wait to see what the tree gives us. I have a feeling it won't be a long time until we find out. Faster. 